All right, Saturday, October 30th. Going out for a hunt today. Uh, it's supposed to be 57 or so for a high. Not, not ideal, but we're going to give it a chance. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, update. I just almost hit a nice little eight pointer on the road. He was in the other lane. Luckily, he stayed there. But, uh, nice buck, actually. <clears throat> I'd rather get one with my bow versus the truck. So, we're trying to. I'm going to try a new spot today. I've scouted this spot about two springs ago and it looked pretty promising. Found a lot of buck bedding, big tall rubs. It's, it has big bucks in the area. Uh, just a matter of how many other people are going to be there. This is my first time hunting and I did scout it. Um, so I got some places marked and saved where I want to go. Oh boy. Another buck. Just saw another buck here across the road, a smaller one. All right, good morning, guys. I'm in the stand. I didn't get very far. I saw a really nice scrape. And some branches busted off on top. That are about as tall as my chin. Really tall rub, a small tree, but a really tall rub. So I'm pretty close to the truck, but I'm gonna give this to mid to late morning and then work my way farther up, scouting and looking for a spot to hunt tonight. This is also kind of a transition area. Out in front of me, I got a, a hill and an egg field, private. Behind me, there's a small creek. About an hour ago, I had one skirt me behind me, right on the edge. Kind of in a transition here. Probably a six or eight pointer. A year and a half, probably 15 yards. I think I got a little bit of it on, on my action camera. I'll give this spot a little longer and then I'm gonna scalp my way further back. Find a spot for tonight. As bow hunters, we spend a lot of time preparing for the season. If you're a public land hunter, you might spend hours of scouting on your phone, boots on the ground, scouting in person. Uh, we all spend time shooting our bows, making sure we're ready for the season. It's also a financial investment. If you're a public land hunter, you spend money on gas, maybe you take trips out of state, um, stuff, tags, stuff like that. If you hunt private land, you either bought your land or you're leasing land. Uh, so that means you're paying taxes, you're paying a lease every year. Bottom line is that we do it because we love it. I just love being in God's creation, being outside, being outdoors. All those trophies we have, whether they're deer mounts or deer heads or fish, turkey, fans, elk, moose, whatever we have, eventually our kids will probably sell them at a garage sale <laughs> and, or, just, or just toss them. 
but at the end of the day it's temporary. It will come to an end. Just like everything else in this world. Don't make the mistake of what not investing in eternity and what matters. Eternity lasts forever. You need to prepare for that. The only thing that has lasting value that will last forever is having a relationship with Jesus Christ. We come into this world with a sin problem because everyone is born into sin because of what Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden. But God's plan was to send Jesus uh, to take away the sins of the world. Um, but we still need to repent. It means turn away from our sins and turn towards Jesus. He loves us and wants to have a relationship with us. He wants to give us everlasting life. If you have any questions on this, please contact the email. We'd love to give you a free book which explains more about it. Here I am set up at the spot I scoured two years or a year and a half prior to this. Uh, right downhill from the Buck Benny area. Speaking of a buck, here comes one now. Um, spiker. This is kind of like a saddle. It's also like a north-south um, cover pinch point uh, between two chunks of private land. And he came up off this hill where I found the buck bedding. And he came by me about seven yards here. And this was like at 2.30, right when I got set up. So I was thinking it could be a pretty good night. If there's any more bigger bucks, they might come out later. More towards uh, the evening. No other bucks uh, came by. I sat all the way to the closing shooting. And then on my way out, um... On the private land, I did see, not too far away from where I was, there was um, guys getting out of their their um, box blinds. So obviously they were hunting the night. Um, I guess I didn't take that into account. So even though that area was very hard to get to on the public land, um, still it was next to some private land that people have been hunting 